to Senator John McCain. A public viewing underway right now in Washington, D.C. This follows heartfelt tributes from members of Congress this morning inside the Capitol Rotunda. And joining us now is Margaret Brennan, the moderator of Face the Nation. And Margaret, in Washington, that's so divided right now. We saw so many signs of bipartisanship today. In Senator McCain fashion, that was by design. So do you think Congress will actually listen to McCain's message of bipartisanship moving forward? That is the question. Uh, you are exactly right. This was all carefully orchestrated by Senator McCain. Uh, those side-by-side -side placements uh, by uh, the Democratic and Republican leaders of a wreath beside his uh, coffin, that was scripted just like tomorrow. Uh, the fact that the two eulogies will be delivered by uh, the two men who defeated Senator McCain in the bid for the presidency. Uh, of course, Senator uh, McCain lost in 2008 to Barack Obama and before that to George W. Bush, who will both be honoring him uh, in their uh, eulogy and their remembrance at the National Cathedral tomorrow. The question, of course, is does Congress do anything in terms of the spark of bipartisanship that might come from this? I know uh, Senator McCain's dear friend, Lindsey Graham of South Carolina, has said he would like to see it result in immigration reform, but of course, that is a very big ask ahead of what is going to be a contentious November congressional race with immigration, uh, one of the most emotional issues out there. That is a tough issue for Congress to take on. Now, Margaret, Senator McCain's death has hit people hard, not only in Arizona and Washington, but all over the country. Why do you think that is? It's interesting because uh, Senator McCain was known for not uh, stepping back from a good fight. He didn't necessarily uh, have a reputation as a master legislator, but he was certainly a, a great advocate for causes that he thought America needed to confront, one of them being immigration reform, others in terms of leadership uh, around the world as well, beyond U.S. borders. Uh, there are so many testimonies from uh, even political prisoners, whether it was Russia or Egypt, saying, I thought the world had forgotten about me, but John McCain raised my case to my, the leader of my country or got my name out there in the headlines, and that made all the difference in terms of American leadership. And I think at this moment, those kind of messages that uh, America uh, still has that resounding voice on the global stage, that there is a, a role for people coming together to find common purpose beyond party is something that people may be nostalgic for uh, and hopefully isn't something of the past, but maybe something that certainly Senator McCain would like to see uh, result from uh, this celebration of his life uh, over the next few days. So we will wait and see if it results in anything. Of course, as you know, uh, President Trump will not be participating in the celebrations, but some from the Trump administration uh, will be. And, of course, a memorial service tomorrow at the National Cathedral, and his burial will be in uh, Annapolis at the uh, Naval Academy. Margaret Brennan, thank you so much uh, for That's joining right. us from Washington. And join Margaret for coverage of John McCain's funeral tomorrow morning at 8.30, and then complete coverage of the week in Washington on Face the Nation. That's Sunday at 10.30, right here on CBS4.